Good morning. It's a uh, overcast morning. Uh, just a shade above freezing. Uh, quite comfortable. It's nice out. I'm going to start the day with getting this put away. And then I guess empty the truck and then we'll see uh, how events unfold. I'll uh, bring you along when we get there. So, I'm off to work. Later. Okay, got the uh, yellow birch put away. I think I'm going to drop this basswood. Uh, maple tree. Maple tree. And as I said yesterday, I'm favoring the maples because uh, I want to do maple syrup. So, uh, don't see the benefit of having a basswood tree right here competing with the maples. So, uh, going to move the little buggy to make sure it's out of the way and... Uh, Drop her right down there. Yeah, at least I don't have far to haul it. Okay, I'm going to get at this and then bring you back later, people. Bye now. There we go. She's down. Uh, guess I know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. Um, it's just starting a light drizzle. Uh, yeah, I don't plan on getting soaked again today. Uh, which leads me to a different subject. My biggest fear or apprehension about being up here in the winter, you know, very isolated, snowed in, yada, 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 um, getting sick. Uh, really don't fancy the idea of coming down with the flu and, you know, the retching and shaking and sweats and having to crawl around outside and dig out firewood. Don't want to do that. So, uh, yeah, not going to get soaked today. Later, people. Well, there we go. The rain is held off. The basswood is hauled out and split and stacked away. And I say my firewood shed is full. Um, gonna have some lunch. Then I'm going to uh, empty the truck and then we'll see what the day holds. So, uh, hey, finally, I know I've been saying it for quite a while, but finally the shed is full. Later, people. Well, that was good timing. Just uh, got inside and it started raining. Yeah. Sometimes I live right where I must. Later. Okay, it's about uh, 12.30, quarter to one, I guess. Uh, gonna get this emptied out, stacked on top of there. Um, I've been asked why I don't just leave them in the truck and uh, feed them straight to the mill. The answer to that's pretty simple. I'm wanting to put the output of the mill into the truck. The 2x8s, once we've ripped them down, I want to load the truck up and drive them around to where I need them. So, simple answer to that one. Okay, I'm going to get to work now. Back the truck up and, yeah. Okay, later, freak people. So, truck's emptied out. We've got all this material ready for the bandsaw. We've got my broom. <laughs> Yeah, this is the stuff that's going to be uh, my 1x12 siding for the uh, shed. And just to give a perspective, that's a big log. It is uh, beyond my waist high. Yeah, really impressed with the old truck towing it around. Anyway, I, uh, I'm ready. Yeehaw! Gonna be a rough couple of days though. Yeah. So these are gonna be two by eights for the uh, deck on the firewood shed. These are going to be two by sixes for the roof of the firewood shed. And then we have the siding. So uh, yeah, my winter's work. All I need to do is buy a couple boxes of nails. Later people. Yes, I'm giving you another shot of the plywood, sh or the plywood shed, the firewood shed, full. <laughs> I'm just so tickled about it. Uh, ready for the bandsaw, gentlemen. Um, I've got two trains of thought, and I'm asking for input, please. Um, I could continue with firewood while the weather holds, 
Uh, again, anything I get done is bonus for next year. Or I want to attach that to the tiny house uh, and need a foundation dug. Well, four posts, but I think they're eight by eight, so probably easier just to dig one big hole, plant the post, and fill it back in again. Um, I could get the posts in and then uh, tackle the move this winter, you know, frozen ground, ice, snow, slide. Uh, can't see it being too difficult. Uh, might even hook up the winch and power it across. Uh, yeah, so uh, what do you think I ought to be doing, people? I do want to get that attached to the cabin. The uh, I've got one of those solar showers I use. You know, you heat the back black bag up and uh, shower. Uh, I can certainly just hang it beside the wood stove to heat it up quickly. Uh, but the whole idea of showering when it's 20 below doesn't turn my crank. Because uh, that building is unheated. If it was attached, we'd be heated. Uh, wood stove certainly has the capacity to heat another 8x8 eight eight space. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are, people. Uh, I think I'm going to post this video early so I can get some feedback, please. Uh, so remember, it's the journey, not the destination. And in my case, I'm not quite sure what route I'm supposed to be taking. So uh, help me out, people. Thank you.